Hey Chris, let's take a look at your deadline assignment. Looking at the cut line first, I had to look this up. I wasn't sure if it was AP style, but it is. You did it correct, so good job. Even I have to look stuff up. At Devo Park in downtown Gainesville on Monday. Great. Uh, you just need some more information. If this is going to be a standalone photo um, running by itself, we just want to, we need a little bit more information. So, a quote, or I know you're probably running all over town and don't know which photos you're going to, you're going to use, but you kind of have to, in this situation, kind of plan on, you know, each one being used until you get back to the office or wherever and are able to edit them down. Um, so especially for a standalone, get more information. All right, looking at your take, let's just do some snooping here. I like uh, 190 images. That's nice. All right, so spent a little bit more than an hour. Um, let's see what you found. Uh, definitely a possibility. I would have definitely stopped just like you did and uh, saw if anything developed. The place is, I don't know if it's opened or closed inside, but it might have been more interesting shooting from the inside, but it looks like maybe this was just a hit and run. Oh, look at there. Hello. Everybody went to Depot Park. Aww. This is close. Oh. Alright, I'm glad you hung out with it. Um, it's close, it just needs that little bit of something special. <gasps> What's going on here? Hmm. Oh, a little bit of a light flare issue. I don't know if you have a lens hood on your lens or not, but that looks like what's maybe causing this. But I like this image. It would tone up very nicely. And there you fix the problem. <laughs> Good job moving around. This is a little distracting. Aww. There they are. Look how happy everybody is. It's like the worst day of the the semester and you're all just thrilled and you got the, the cameras and I'm tagging all of these. I'm keeping these. I don't know which one yet. I'm just going to tag them all. <laughs> um, this is close. It's kind of funny. Uh, close, but no cigar. So you're doing the right thing here. You're just walking around, shooting everything you see. Not really thinking twice about it. Um... You don't want to think too much about these things. You just want to take photos of what you are tempted to take photos of. <laughs> these guys always get super nervous. Like he should probably have on a hard hat. They both probably should. Not that you turn this in, but pointing pictures or a faux pas, which I realize no one knows what it means, and I don't either, but, uh, or a no-no. So, not that you would have turned that in, but if you're tempted to in the future, I really want to know what this museum is all about. I keep forgetting to ask y'all. Seems like there'd be photos inside there.
good job taking a bunch of photos. If you were doing an assignment on these fellows, whatever they're doing, if, you know, if you had an assignment, you would have come out with the usable photo. So. See this guy like electrocuted. All right, we're toward the end. Um, all right, you did a fine job looking back through your photos. Uh, this girl kind of stands out more more so than the subject that you turned in, and um, just this photo. I don't know if maybe you, is it. It's not the same girl. No. Um, I don't know if they wouldn't give you her name or you didn't talk to her, but this just has a little bit more uh, character with her glasses and um, the natural framing is really successful. Um, but I can see why you chose the photo that you did. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a. Uh, what was it? It's a cute photo and definitely a, a nice standalone. These, I think. Yeah, and you framed her nicely in between the in between um, whatever the hell these things are. Um, all right, good job. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and have an awesome week, sir.